Our Zimmer Kubota Country Roads takes me to Toller, Texas. Beautiful spot between Granbury and Stephenville on Highway 377. And Marlin, the hot mineral water city of Texas. Head coach Ruben Torres has his Marlin Bulldogs in rhythm. Dogs have won seven of their last eight and ready to sink their teeth in Toller. But talk about bite. The Toller Rattlers under Jeremy Mullins, 11-0, ranked top 10 in Texas and giving up just six points a game, looking for their fifth straight shutout while putting up 50 a game on offense. And these guys are so good and so bad, they've got a rap song about them. Here, I'll sing it. I'll show you. Toller hasn't lost in over a year, but the last team to beat him? Yeah, yeah. That's right, Marlin knocked him out of last year's playoffs. This dog pound led by quarterback Desmond Woodson averages 280 yards a game, 2,100 on the year through the air. Let's go! And while we'll be seeing a lot of purple tonight, the Bulldogs will be seeing a lot of brown. Peyton Brown, 2,100 yards rushing and 39 touchdowns, both lead Texas 2A. And get this, the kid's just a sophomore. No, but Marlin's defense will counter with Tyron Bell. This kid already offered by Baylor, and he's just a sophomore. Doesn't take long for Marlin to remind the Rattlers who's top dog. 13 plays off the opening kick. Mario Hopwood, the 360 spin and into the zone. Six zip Bulldog. But how's this for an answer? Rattler's known to strike fast, whether it's for prey or for points. Marlin's lead lasts a total of 14 seconds. Wyatt Jones takes the ensuing kickoff 76 yards. Here we go. 7-6 Toller, with Jones adding the PAT as well. That vaunted Toller D gets a turnover on downs, and then the offense takes all of just one play. Brown goes up the gut nearly untouched. Just two minutes left in the first quarter, and Toller has had the ball for one offensive play and lead, 14-6. Their second offensive play comes quickly. The onside kick sets the Rattlers up again. And again, Brown has Marlin seeing red. Check out the blocking by this O-line. Owens, Saffer, Stewart, four-year starter Barry, Webb, McClure, and White. Gaping holes for Peyton all night. And when Brown needs to get dirty himself, check out the get out of my way shove, yikes. This TD opens the second quarter and makes it 28-6 Toller starting to pull away. Brown adds another short TD run before Marlin says enough. Woodson finds Marion Lofton. He shows why he's already offered by New Mexico State, among others. 35-12 now. But a great kickoff return from Cade Moody sets up Jackson Lecluse to Garrison Nation. Touchdown toss. 43-12 Toller with under a minute to play before half. But that's enough time for the Rattlers to get an INT from Nation and then have Lecluse find Matthew Barons for six more. Again, all before the halftime horn. 50-12 at in intermission. That was more than enough to coast home from there. 71-18 is your final. Brown goes for 287 yards and 21 carries and five more touchdowns as the Toller Rattlers get revenge on Marlin and in the process, move on to face the Hamilton Bulldogs in round three. We were definitely hyped and just ready. We, we wanted some We wanted some of it. It seemed like you had some big holes. Were you thanking those big guys? Yes, sir, I was. I always thank them. We didn't really talk about payback, but we knew that we wanted to win this game especially, just knowing that from the beginning of the season, we knew there was a chance we'd play them again, and uh, we knew that we just needed to play them again to continue this run. And We've had a great year, and uh, it's just another game and ready for next round. You remember who knocked you out of the playoffs, right? I mean, that's a, that's a no-brainer. And Marlin had a super good team last year, and they still had a good team this year. Uh, and, and so, yeah, it was obviously on our mind. Uh, but, man, our guys have done a great job of just focusing every week, regardless of the opponent. It's a it's a Country Roads are brought to you by Zimmer or Kubota, proudly serving North Texas for over 40 years with the highest quality Kubota product and service solutions, family owned and operated since 1979.